Hi guys, Lizbeth here. I was thinking about what kind of videos I like to make, what ones I want to make next, and I realized that one of my favorites, the declutter videos, and the second favorite, the organized videos, I haven't done in a hot minute. So I thought, let's organize or show you the organization, I think it's pretty well organized, of my buffet. Now, I did do a declutter of my table linens, which I think I did a pretty hot, hot smoking job on. So I will uh, list the decluttered below or link it below. But this is the buffet that goes with the table set. The china cabinet is downstairs displaying all my honeys collections and goodies. So, but I never showed, I, I decluttered the middle and I never showed the rest of the buffet. So what we have in here is a glass teapot and teacup set. And yes, this means I have like three teapot and teacup sets and that's exorbitant, but exorbitant, too many. Well, that's what's there. This is uh, candlesticks. My husband and I got two sets of glass candlesticks when we got married. These we got in Aruba. Um, the reason we have those is before our marriage, my husband has a set of like serving pieces that are blue and white. And I was trying to find some way to, you know, make it all matchy matchy on the tablescape. This little, candy or cupcake stand. I never use, I'm going to declutter that. And down here, these boxes have red candles in them. My tea light candles and I have a snuffer. And let's see, if we get close enough. And these bobeches, I kept a couple of them. Bobeches go on the end of candles on top of your candlestick to catch the wax, I'm just in case, because I mean, let's face it, when I was growing up, I had no idea there were even things called Bobet. So just in case you've never seen them, that's what they are for. Sorry, the shaking as I stoned up. So I've got one little lone declutter and I don't know if there's gonna be any more. So in this drawer, I have my granddaughter's spare clothes. Uh, there's flip-flops in case you need some. Sunglasses, like sometimes we'll do the pool and stuff on the back deck. Uh, one little hair bow, which she actually has put on the doll more than she's put on herself. A uh, couple unders, some socks, some regular ones, some frilly ones. Jeans, I actually have another shirt to put on this, but the I guess the head hole was a little tight for her, so it's a V-neck and I'm gonna cut the V-neck down a little more. A shorts outfit, a top and black shorts. I'm gonna move these out because I want to show you something behind them. That's a little skirt outfit. Here's the swimming, her swimsuit she uses when we go out on the back deck. And this is the blue and white set I was telling you about. The problem I have incorporating it, and it's really pretty, is that it doesn't have silverware. It's just serving set, and you guys know how magic, magic crazy I am. So here are all the steak knives. And then there's a bunch of knives where I don't know a lot. That looks like maybe that's a cake slicer and server. I'm just gonna show you some of them. Um, this is a long, thin knife that actually kind of looks like a envelope opener kind of thing. I don't actually know. Here's a, uh-huh, if you guys know what that is, let me know. Looks like a cheese spreader, cheese ball spreader. This is another spreader or butter knife. Um, yeah, if you guys have a clue. This might be, is that like a bottle opener at the back? I don't know. If you guys know, let me know. Uh, yeah, I'm not a clue. 
This I believe is a like a cheese knife thing. A serving fork. And this looks ah come out. I'm assuming that's just a slotted spoon and not something special. So if you guys know what any of this stuff is that I have no clue of, uh, put it down below. It wouldn't hurt me to learn what some of these things are, especially that. I mean, what, what is that? So that's why I have the blue and white um, candles and stuff. If my honey would let me get rid of these, I would get rid of all that, but he, I don't know quite what he did. He did something to collect it piece by piece. So that is in our buffet on the top drawer that's supposed to only contain, I guess like silverware and platters, but contains clothes in my case. And let's see, I've got a big three drawer under here. Um, there's the linens. I won't go through all of those. Okay, well maybe I will. Uh, it's in my other video, but uh, I got rid of so much in that one. This is just kind of like a under pad, black tablecloth. I've got 12 of these black and white napkins. There's just one napkin, one uh, white napkin back there. These go with my set. They are napkin rings. I didn't put my camera on the tripod because I wanted to go up and down the shelves, but sorry if it's shaking a bit much. So I got 12 of those. This is my Santa set, and there are red napkins that fold into a point that you use for his hat. And those are like the placemats. I'm not sure if I said that. Here is the pool towels. The We've got three, there's four of us, but I've been augmenting with regular towels. I think I'm going to, there's a, the princess one my husband's name and my husband's got another one. These two were before our marriage. And yes, I'd love to replace them, but he loves them. So we're keeping those and I'm gonna get one more towel. Where it keeps um, extra diapers and wipes for, we have our grandson is still in diapers. He just turned two. And this is a huge, 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 huge candle stick. I've got two of those, and we've got like long candles to go with them. I'm not gonna unwrap them, but, so that's what we have in here. Usually we only use these at Christmas time on the mantle. And let's see what's down below. I put a, oh, what do you call that? A tablecloth. It doesn't go across the entire tablecloth there, or the table, because it's, not that long, but I use it when the kids do crafts and I thought temporarily for the summertime, I would open it up under here. Now I usually wash and dry anything we use uh, before I put it away. Oh great. All my, uh, these are fishing poles, they're magnetic. I think that's why they're all wanting to stick together. So they're little kid fishing poles for the pool. And this bucket, which I use to um, dip the water out of the pool till there's not hardly any left so I can dump it because I'm not strong enough to dump the pool when it's full of water. But it has all these things with little metal tops and you put them in the pool and then the kids fish. Okay, I was fishing too. Okay, I got one for grandpa too. <laughs> so, that's my husband. Uh, you know, I always call him Terry or my husband or whatever, but with the kids, I refer to him as grandpa. But when the kids aren't here or I'm not referring to them, then, you know, I call him Terry. I've got a book that I only paid 25 cents for at the library. This, my husband wants me to keep, I've never seen him use it. It's like a magnifying glass but I've never seen him use it. And then I usually keep like one game at a time and then we swap them out. And that way, Honey and I can have fun playing games. These are just scrub things. I had them out to scrub the pool the first time and the kids like to use them to scrub the windows. So 
If I could only get him to do that everywhere. Okay, here's a funky scooching maneuver across the floor so I can get to the other side of the buffet. And this is where we keep the paper plates, paper napkins. I think we've got one bowl right now. On the second shelf, the plastic cups. These are a couple coffee cups, more napkins, the fork, spoons, and knives. And then down here, I have spare stuff for my grandson, uh, spare shoes. These are jammies back here. The Paw Patrol fleece jammies. I've got a swim, I guess a swim diaper. I'm not sure. It's one that you just keep and wash. And then when it gets a little taller, though I usually put, or my husband usually goes ahead and puts this shirt on him, this swim shirt, but I got swim shirt and swim trunks for the next size up that I got a really good deal. I think I got it, hmm, might be at, maybe at Walmart, I'm not sure, maybe at Kroger's, I don't know. And then I've got two spare shirts and a spare pair of shorts and a couple of spare socks. So that is what the buffet is for. Very little in the way of dishes, mostly in the way of storage for lifestyle stuff. If you want to stay on, I will do another checkup on the, let's see, on the what? On the kitchen. You guys know sometimes at the end of my videos I've been doing checkups. And that's because I finished the kitchen, all the declutters and the sorting. Okay, this is not the way to the kitchen, but I thought I'd do a quick round and see, well, I'll show you. There's our pool, there's where we sit out there and enjoy the pool. And what's going on? Okay, my quick click up, click up, quick clean up at the end of the night seem to do some okay, but I found a couple extra napkins sitting on the chair and it looks like another, what is up with the napkin sitting on the edge of the chair? I don't know what that's about. So let's check out the kitchen real quick. Oh shoot, ee ee, hot spot, hot spot, hot spot. I'm looking to find something to put in there and I usually, and I know most people in their niches like when I have fresh flowers, I put them in there, but I know most people just have like a vase with like big tall stick flowers coming out. And I was trying to find something else to put in there, but I haven't so far. I've checked Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and I don't know if I've been in Target for it or not, but I've got to find something. This, I stopped putting hotspot stuff there and start putting here. And now I'm putting hot spots there and here. So I'm gonna to have to come up with a better method because this stuff goes downstairs. This stuff goes out in the car, back to the library. This goes upstairs. Urgh. I don't know what to do because I need some place to put it. I'd love to hide it out of sight, but this stuff is like totally packed in there. Oh well, if you guys got any ideas, where do you hide, yeah, I guess hide, where do you guys hide this stuff before you take it upstairs or downstairs, because let's face it, I'm, I'm too lazy to take the trip, but other than that, I think my kitchen is doing pretty good, I've got the child seats out, the baby seats out of my car, because I'm going to take it to be detailed in a week, and I won't need to drive the kids anywhere beforehand so that's why they're there and I think they're nice out of the way yes I could have taken them to the basement or upstairs but uh, back to how I was super lazy and here's my counters I do have this out I've got one I usually clean my ears like every month I have an issue with uh, them clogging up they don't uh, the wax doesn't seem to drain naturally like it does with everyone else's ears uh, so about once a month I clean them out and I um, do that so it doesn't look too bad thanks for watching guys thanks for hanging in there talk to you later